math is just not an accumulation of facts. It's not just an accumulation of knowledge. It's not like you give me a problem and I'm able to answer it. You know, a lot of times it's, can I see myself in the map? The reason to study math is to be able to make sense of the world and the patterns that we see and and make predictions. And you know, if we can use math to help us make sense of different inequities that exist in this world, then that's a pretty powerful tool. Math is a language. It's a written language. It's a spoken language. You can start with a problem in math and then like use your logic, use your problem solving, you, you know, pull from your prior knowledge and then like arrive at a solution. What we're trying to do as a department, and that is just making sure that students feel a really strong sense of belonging in their math class. When students are admitted to Andover over the summer, we ask them to take a placement test. And so that gives us some sort of understanding of the different kinds of math that they've been exposed to and what they're capable of. And so we have a lot of different levels in our department. Once we take those placement test results, we try to place students in a course you know, let's say Algebra 1 is here and Algebra 2 is here, and a student scores, you know, like pretty close to the Algebra 2 line, but not, not right on it. We might actually place a student right here in the middle because we feel like we really want them to get a really strong foundation and we want them to find success in their math class. We'll put you in the level that's appropriate for you and we will challenge you. And it may not always be easy, but uh, the hope is that as you look back on your time that you, um, you feel like you've grown as a problem solver and that you um, can see that you can do hard things. Our focus as a department is really to meet you where you are in terms of your skills, in terms of your ability to write and read um, and profess mathematics. The bottom line is that wherever students are in their studies of math will find the right place for them. Especially in mathematics, I've never had like an such an intimate relationship with a lot of my peers. I think one of the things about math at Andover is how much um, we, we focus on collaboration within the classroom. I think for you know, most of the teachers here in this department, we really value uh, what each student brings to the classroom, both as an individual and what we can create as a classroom community. Something that I really like is how teachers give you a lot of opportunity to be able to work at the board or to turn to the person next to you and say, wait, how do you do this? In group work, uh, we just know that there are opportunities for students to hear how other people are thinking about problems and ways that the teacher may not have ever even thought about. My students are teaching me every day um, with the new ideas that they come up with. What we're trying to do as a department is be more strategic um, and be more intentional about reaching out to students to making sure that you know, they're doing okay, um, to make sure that we're giving them good advice, good feedback. Um, as it relates to their you know, math journey here. One of the things that we always emphasize with our students, especially the new ninth graders coming in, is that you never need to struggle alone, that there are always ways for you to get help with um, any questions that you have. So conference period is a great time to come and work with teachers one-on-one. -on -one. It's a time that's set aside and your teachers will be available to work with you. Uh, we also really encourage students to work together on homework outside of class. So there's a lot of organic, um, you know, student groupings that happen in the dorm, you know, in the library, on sports teams where students are working on problems together. Another big resource for me that I like to use is going to a conference, like math conference, because there is a totally new group of people there that I don't go to class with normally, and I can just ask new people questions and get new perspectives on how to do things. And there have been so many times where I go to conference and I find a completely new way to do something. And there's also math study hall. Every night there's actually math tutors during you know the hours of 8 to 9.30 in Morse, ready to help you with whatever math problems you might uh, be struggling with. And to me, like just the, all the different ways that you can engage with math at Andover is something that's 
I, I had never experienced before uh, coming here. You know, you shouldn't have to be afraid of math at Andover um, because there's just so many resources for you to use. What does 21st century learning look like? Um, what we've decided is that we have to be more culturally responsive as teachers. We're really trying to help our students to make sense of the problems that they come across and um, develop solutions using all of the different thinking skills that we've been emphasizing in classes. We also need to be willing to adjust the way that we teach so that we can support all the kinds of learners that we have in the classroom because not all of our learners at PA are neurotypical. We're really interested in the students being able to communicate mathematically, uh, both in writing and orally. So we try to emphasize proper notation. We want our students to um, be able to explain why something might be true. And what I'm hoping is that some of the skills of adaptation that our students are learning through having different math teachers through taking different math courses is helping them build those analytical thinking skills. My teachers never asked me to think creatively, you know, to be innovative, um, to pose my own problem and to solve it. And that's what we're trying to help our students do. You know, I, I asked my students recently, why do we study math? You know, they ask me that question sometimes, like, why are we studying what we're studying? And I say, well, will you ask that, answer that question? <laughs> you know, you tell me, why do you think you're studying what we're studying? And, um, and a lot of them will say, you know, that we're really, you know, moving beyond just the math and thinking about developing such skills as perseverance and, you know, not giving up in the face of these challenges. I think Andover, is a great place and a great institution to truly explore all the versions of yourself that you'd like to be and all the versions of yourself that exist. I think the biggest thing in my math journey for me has been always pushing myself at Andover, you know, taking up the challenge um, and, and being able to like use uh, the opportunities that Andover gives you. I want them to be able to continue to see the beauty of mathematics. I want them to be able to um, say that they had an amazing math experience.